सो हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ स्पार्केट सो हियर आई एम इन माई कॉलेज इन द सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू गिव यू अ टूर ऑफ आवर डिपार्टमेंट एंड इट विल ऑल्सो बी अ जनरल गाइडेंस वीडियो फॉर ऑल द एम टेक्स टेकिंग एडमिशन थ्रू गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन आवर डिपार्टमेंट दिस ईयर सो वी विल वॉक यू थ्रू एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम अरेंजिंग फ्रॉम एकेडमिक्स टू इंटर्नशिप्स टू प्लेसमेंट दिस ईयर एंड इट विल बी जस्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फनीस्ट और शुड इज नॉट फनीस्ट एक्चुअली और शुड इज इट शुड बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ग्रेटेस्ट वीडियो विच विल वी विल पोस्ट ऑन आवर चैनल एंड फॉर द जे ई एक्सपीरियंस आउट देयर टेक दिस एज वन ऑफ योर ड्रीम पैलेस और अ प्लेस वेर यू शुड कम इन एंड वाट लाइज विद इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट सो लेट्स गो so welcome to the computer science engineering department so the computer science engineering department is basically divided into two parts one is the csb which is the computer sciences block and one is the ssb which is the subramanian shankar block so we are currently now at the subramanian shankar block and i will let you walk through through this entire and beautiful ssb block so without any further ado let's go so basically i am standing now at ssb 134 this is one of the classrooms but today as it is saturday it is locked right now so i can't open it so sorry i can't show you but uh, this is where many of the classes are taken and there are many such classrooms and small labs like this these are all these labs again and if you come just a bit forward here so This is one of the big laboratories here. This is the computer vision laboratory. And if we go forward now, so this is where the faculty lounges are there like the faculty sit here and do all kinds of stuffs and all. So follow me. So this is a room of one of the faculties, uh, Professor Janki Ram D. And if we go through once more, we'll have some spare rooms. Then, like this department is huge. If I let you through this like this slowly, like you won't, we won't be able to cover it. Anyways, so let us do this in a fast forward manner. Ah, huh. so here. is one of the big faculties of our department professor hema murthy stays in this room okay so now let's continue with our department tour let's go so this is like a common area like that was cs15 classroom and this area also has few faculty rooms like uh, here we have the room of magnan asre ma'am this is uh, magnan asre ma'am's room and then we have another faculty room that is rupesh nastre sir's room mm, yeah that is rupesh nastre sir's room and then we have another one john sir's room john agustin sir so yeah now that was all in the ground floor of csb now we are going to the first floor so let's go this is the first floor uh here there are classrooms here this is the cs office and this is the list of all the faculties in our department so yep like as you can see like there are pretty good professors here you may not know them by their name but once you come here get their courses interact with them you know how awesome they are Okay so and here comes the biggest room 
वी कैन से और एच ओ डी सर प्रोफेसर कृष्ण नंदीवाड़ा सर ए इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आई कैन से सो यप नंदीवाड़ा सर एंड देन लेट्स गो लाइक इन द ग्राउंड फ्लोर वी सो सी एस फिफ्टीन दिस इज एन अदर सच हॉल द आर्यावट्टा हॉल दिस इज अनदर बिग क्लास रूम लाइक वेरी बिग डोंट नो वेदर इट इज ओपन ऑन नॉट नो इज लॉक्ड इट सीम्स इट सैटर्ड है ना दैट्स वाई ऑल द रूम्स आर लॉक्ड नो इट्स लॉक्ड कॉन्ट शो यू बट इट इज वेरी ऑसम इन साइड सो ओके वट कैन वी डू लेट्स जस्ट गो देर आर मोर क्लास रूम्स यर आई थिंक यू कैन सी हियर नो इट इज टू मच डार्क इज एन अदर क्लास रूम लाइक दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी वेरी बिग वन दिस इज जस्ट अ स्मॉल वन बट दिस इज दैट आर्डिया वट हॉल इज प्रिटी बिग लाइक इट्स जस्ट काइंड ऑफ सेमिनार हॉल दैट टू इज सिट now this again gets connected to ssb okay so let's now explore the first floor of the ssb come so here a few of the electrical uh, rooms are there which are <laughs> admission restricted and one good thing here is that there is a pantry room available here so if you want to like have any if you make anything hot or cook anything something you can try it here in the pantry room okay so here there are a few of the labs available here yeah, so In the right let's explore them <laughs> so here is the speech music and uh, vision laboratory here and this is the hpcn laboratory for computing and networking work is mostly done uh, here only so let's explore the ssb part here come so here one of the rooms uh, for uh, normal classes here and this is the visualization and perception lab here and this is the pace lab here mostly uh, the works on parallel computing compilers gpu and everything goes on here so it's a really a kind of a good book a lot of good work goes on here in this place if you are interested in uh, software uh, like system pass then it's a place for you and this is this is uh, another extension of the pace lab here now let's move to the uh, faculty areas here here uh, few of the faculties or uh, rooms are available here yeah this university's uh, room is here. this is university's room and this is uh, madhu madhu ma'am's room here here this one so that's for a lot of the room uh, faculty rooms not available in this place is kind of a little bit empty here so sorry This is the like a corridor which attaches this SSB to the uh, computer, like our main uh, computer uh, center. That one. So this is the main corridor. Here yeah, a few of the other faculties room. Uh, mostly faculties are not available because it's uh, it's a weekend day, Saturday. So yeah, here it is. Yeah, do bus there's a room. This one. And this is uh, Shiva Ramurthy sir's room. and our venture sir's room this is your phone that's all and uh, oyan chakravarty sir's room he works on signal processing and your thing so this is also one of the very good professors which whom under whom you can want you can work under so that's all this is the end of this first floor it's uh, ssb back so now let's go to the second floor so the second floor we need to take a we need to take the lift <laughs> because This is the end of the first floor as Abhisa ji has shown you. So now we will take the lift and go to the second floor. There are more amazing things on the second floor. Let me show you. So IIT Madras is full of many exciting things. So, but as today is Saturday, so most of the faculties are not there in the classrooms also booked. 
but we will try to show you all the possible snapshots we have so now we have arrived at second floor let me show you so starting with the faculty offices here so in the second floor many faculties offices are there like sudan sir's uh, room is this so if you want to work in like natural language processing and all he is a professor for you and here is one of the good professors of system jayalal sharma sir and one of the most famous for you must have seen is os course on nptel mr chester zero and here is one more good professor for computer vision sukhendu das sir and from here and moving on so this is our director's room but mostly he is not present because he is a very busy man so he has to like manage all the entire institutes all the duties so most of the time he is not present here but you might be able to see him so if we we will take both left and right from here but if we take the left right sorry <laughs> your your right my left so if we take the right we reach the DCF. If you take admissions in IIT Madras, then all your computing facilities and the lab works of the computer uh, computer science and all will be done here. Everything is present here, like the Linux machines and Windows machine and all. But mostly, will be, you will be working in Linux and doing all the programming stuffs here. The computers are very good here. So come on, let me show you one of the good places where, like. a special lab is there for the student to hang out and study so come with me so if you go by this you reach the ssb again like you need to push that door and you will reach the ssb again but now we are currently in csb because the csb and ssb are interconnected like uh, the ssb has three floors but the csb has only two floors 0 12 and it has three floors so We are now currently in CSB second floor, and also I have shown you SSB second floor. But I have not shown you many labs, but I will be showing the labs also. So this is the Rise Lab. This is Kamakoti Sir's lab. You must have heard about Kamakoti Sir, like the Sir Shakti Man of India, and like he is the main creator behind the Shakti processor. So this is where the Shakti processor is kept. We are not, we do not belong from his lab. else we could have shown you like how the shakti processor looks and all so yeah and now so this is the cs uh, csb 36 so this is one of the classrooms where the classes are held and like this is the bigger classroom than the cs 24 and 25 as you have seen because uh, like based on the amount of students enrolled in a course the classes are allocated on that basis So, moving in here, we have one more class. This is the CS thirty four. So this is also one of the big classrooms present here. So if you come by this side, this is the this is the CS thirty two. CS thirty two is specially reserved for the students to study here and all chill. And coming by this side. This is called the DCF extension. So DCF extension is a special lab. If you come this side, so we have one more room. So this is a CS thirty seven. So like the students were studying there, so I didn't want to like engage them and all. So the main thing is like. Uh, IIT Madras will provide you all the stuffs. If you want to study alone, you can study here, no problem. If you want to study in air condition, you can go to the DCF extension and study. You have all the computing facilities there. You don't have a laptop, you can work on our computers and all. And the computers are very good, so you can like do all your stuffs there. So we have basically three classrooms reserved for our students to study. And so moving on to our SSB second floor. Let's see what lies there. so this floor is basically used by most of the masters and phd students because a very special facility is there for the masters and phd students no harm to the btech students but uh, we have special privileges here so let me show you uh, the, like the same in the second floor uh, on the first floor sorry the pantry is present here is also a pantry present 
but the, the vendor is veg only so if you come to this side so this is one of the conference rooms so as we have shown you on the first floor there were some students doing some conference and all if you want to do like the TA stuffs and all you can book one of the conference room and do all your things here and there is one more conference room here people do all kinds of stuffs here and if you come to this side we have the theoretical computer science laboratory this is the theory of computation lab and as you can see this is the theory of computation lab and if you go to that side that is the research in algorithm and graphs laboratory so this floor is basically dedicated to like uh, the theoretical computer science parts and the pace labs is for the systems part like if you want to work in system domain you should target the pace lab because it is one of the best labs of india and you will be working under our hod and all and there are many good professors also and so the main attraction of the second floor let's go so this is it the graduate lounge so this is the main attraction of our second floor so this is the graduate lounge this is specially reserved for the mtechs ms and phd students so if you are a privileged guy here we can chill and play caroms and like you can do all the fun stuffs with your friends here so without any further ado let's jump in Okay, so admission in MTech in IIT Madras is pretty straightforward. You just have a good get score and you can directly come here. No interviews and all. Like in other IITs, like IIT Delhi sometimes conduct interviews and all. But IIT Madras, it is not nothing as such there. So the expected ranks uh, for general, it was like around 150 this time. For EWS, it was around, uh, I guess, 250. For OBC, it was uh, 600. For SC, I guess it was around 2000 and for ST it was around 4000 so like if you want to come to IIT Madras then it's pretty it is better than you have scores in this range so yeah that's it so after you accept and freeze your seat in QF you just sit back for some days you will receive a mail from IIT Madras and with the instructions and the offer letter in it. Uh, so the, uh, the orientation day will be mentioned in the offer letter. On that day, you come, you come in the campus. Uh, first, you will be allocated the hostel room in the hostel, which is specifically designed for first year students. So you just uh, settle down there. And after that, you take your documents, you go to the office, get the document verified. And that's, that's it for the first day. Then you will have like one week or so maybe some seven eight days off and after that that year game begins you'll get it speaking about the academics for us we have to complete around uh, eight courses of which seven is compulsory to in the first year that is in the first and second semester so among the eight courses the two are uh, the core courses from the, to be given from the CLC department that you have to do it compulsorily and the remaining six are the electives you can choose uh, any from uh, which you like from any domain like among uh, it could be in systems or AIML or theory of your choice and uh, the second your second year that is the third and the fourth semester you have to complete your project under any other any of the faculty of your choice or uh, depending on the domain on which you like to work so this is all the academic procedure that I have to go through. So this is one of the questions which we had on our LinkedIn post. So Umi is asking, 
bro this year i am expecting 171 to 185 ranks so i have a chance to choose all iit except bombay for direct admission i just wanted to know that what is unique there in madras for mtech is because placement wise every iit is a good placement only so you think i every iit is a good placement i think madras leaps high in this regards so regarding internships so pritham will tell here because he is a deputy placement coordinator at iit madras so what makes iit madras so special regarding placements and internships okay so internships uh, that is a very good point you raised so subodit so like for most of us mtechs we more or less come from a tier 2 or tier 3 college and that is a true fact it is no denying that and because of that we our cvs are not that much good and iit madras will give you the best opportunity to build your cv for the period you stay in this campus the day you step in you will be contacted by the placement cell that the internship process has been initiated you will register for the placement cell for the day you come here and from that day itself you will start uh, sitting for the uh, online assessments of the different companies to mention few the phase 1 of iit madras has com- uh, had companies like amazon flipkart adobe oracle nvidia uber M- media.net online uh, phase like so these are pretty big names for at least internships and in this respect i would like to say like if you have a good rank you probably would prefer iit bombay or iisc over madras that's quite quite obvious because it's the trend but uh, as far my knowledge iisc doesn't allow you internships in the first phase and iit bombay doesn't allow you at all so think of the scenario there you will be going there you do not have a very, that much good cv like not that much uh, exposure and you will be sitting with for the placements directly with and your competitors will be the top rankers of je advance who will be the biggest achievers over there because they will be having a very very good cv you can imagine from because they are spending 4 years in the iit bombay campus so iit madras gives you a heads over this so i think uh, it, it it is a very good reason why you can consider iit madras at least for the point of view of placements and internships and we will cover placements separately so for internships yes iit madras is the only old iit which gives you the opportunity to sit in phase 1 placement from the day you step in the campus internship percentage bata de wo to hai lagbhag phase 1 mein 50% tha is bar so yes and phase 2 is going on and till now it is around i guess 60 or 65% have got it so yeah So one of the most important crucial questions so how were the placements at IIT Madras and how was the placement for the 2023 batch like our senior batch so for this i have one of my good friends amar so amar is a intern at sansa and also the deputy placement coordinator so he will walk through the journey of the placements so amar So placement basically starts from our street side. So from then uh, companies will start coming for their uh, first FT or four years. After that, uh, basically they sort these two for the intern. The procedure basically takes uh, at almost uh, three months. So each company comes and uh, conduct their test, and it may be online, offline, depending on the companies. And after that, uh, if the result comes, then you will get sort these two for the interviews. and basically offer all the five uh, old iits the interview starts from uh, 1st december so from that day basically the placement starts here as well so basically all the most most of the companies uh, mtech student are allowed to sit except some hfts but there are also hfts where uh, mtech student also eligible this year uh, this year placement was also very good uh, one that to other iits Uh, so most of our student almost uh, 90 to 95% should already placed, and more others some interested in research, so they uh, go for higher studies in abroad. Uh, regarding that uh, placement uh, packages are basically quite good compared to other IITs. This year also you get stuck by cyclone, but instead of that, uh, our one day day four got wasted, but still most of our student, I mean almost 95% should have got placed. 
so that's the placement stats and most of the important thing is intensive that helps the placements in placements for mp student value as because of the intensive they got a uh, uplift from the pt students and got a very good placement because of that so coming to this question of what are the subjects you should learn before coming into iit madras it's better to do the strivers a to z dsa course sheet so you will be like adjusted with the dsa thing and will be ready for internships if you are planning to join iit madras and for the subjective which are uh, taught in iit madras uh, doing the linear algebra course of gilbert strang uh, and the probability course of john et john et sitkilis <laughs> sorry if i am pronouncing the name wrong these two courses should suffice and it will be like a very good boost for your career also because because when will you will be joining iit madras uh, the courses will be a bit big hectic and like on a very like tough side because you are coming to iit you should prepare for it so if you have done this courses it will be a smooth sail for you rather than other student so you will have a good advantage over them and if you find the gilbert strang course uh, too tough to like acquire or comprehend then uh, uh, another course which i would suggest is the vittal rao course which is present in the iisc website or you can search on youtube and also get it so both of these are very good courses okay so now some questions which were pushed into my dm so yash has asked uh, which department or lab is performing best research in fields like nlp or computer vision okay so let me just elaborate it our iit madras computer science is broadly divided into three areas theory systems and ml each area is uh, good on its own theory has good professors like yadu sir bb raghavendra sir others are also there i am not taking everyone's name it will be very lengthy theory has upesh sir our hod krishna sir uh, then sivalingam sir and the most famous one the ml ml domain is having lots of faculties highest among all the three uh, there is nitesh kapra sir there is baladaman sir there is uh, harish sir there is arun sir there is uh, shukandu sir and lots of others i am not taking any words them please don't offend anything not especially the faculties don't get offended if i am not taking your name and the uh, lab which is performing uh, best research yeah so lab of uh, bhara yeah nitesh sir that is ai for bhara it is very popular over here and it is doing great in open source contribution you can check it out it's ai for bhara uh, yes there are a lot of lot of work going on in there that is a very good uh, lab in our department then other the next question is uh, how is the curriculum at first sem uh is there any mathematical courses which we have to take before getting into specializations now uh, there is no as such prerequisite but like shubhadeep uh, said previously it would be good if you can cover linear algebra or probability that will be there will give you upper hand in all the areas like in theory we have the ad uh, advanced data structure that is a probabilistic course then there is systems where in, in gpu or uh, in gpu or in compilers you have the group theory in which is there in maths and ml is totally maths itself so yeah that will be give you upper hand as such no prerequisite but you can do it in your free time after the get uh, get is done okay so the next question is um, could you give more information about masters or mtech research at iit madras and do we have to choose the specialization during admission so no there is no as such requirement of choosing a specialization you will do it at the end of the second semester when you will be allocated the mtech that time you will choose your specialization in which you want to do your project and give us the total expenses it would cost to do mtech and how much money we have to spend on our behalf of ourselves so the total expense per semester is around 50 or 55k including tuition fees hostel fees mess fees everything you will be receiving stipend for your pod ut that is 12400 per month so if you take it gross or net then you will gain more than you lose so you will gain uh, you don't have to spend anything on your own so that is the best part of all this mtech program yeah so that is the question so 
so coming to the final question with this we will wrap up the q and a so how is life at iit madras so coming to the food like for the north indians uh, like us you will have to like give some time to adjust with the food it might not be your usual home food because you are living alone here but the campus life and all is very good there are like many cultural events happening all day and all along so you won't feel lonely and left out there are, you will find many good friends with whom you will hang out and like share all the assignments and do all the stuffs and you will have a pretty good time here and coming to the profs the profs are very good and supportive here so if you have any doubt regarding any subject they are always available to clear all your doubts like if you go to the professor at that time they might not be available but they will schedule some time with you and clear all your doubts so that's all at iit madras hope we meet soon in all the labs and all so now let's move to the rest part which is left in the ssb floor number 2 so moving on to this part so this is one of the extension of the same laboratory as i have shown which is working on theoretical computer science graph algorithms and all so if you have a interest in theoretical computer science you will be working here and so this is the birds laboratory so like the bioinformatics and integrated data science lab and all and this is the aidb lab artificial intelligence and database laboratory so if you have interest in ai ml and all you might be working various professors are present here so we also have one very big attraction of uh, ssb which is this one if you what is present inside this room i can show you like Oh, this is what is present here. Okay. So, if you want to play tennis and all, you can play here. That's not an issue. So, we have got all your things covered. So, if you want entertainment, it is there. If you want playing, it is there. If you want research, it is there. If you want good amount of scientific computing lab and good amount of hardware it is there if you want good professor it is also there if you want good placement it is also there so iit madras should be your one stop destination for all your things so starting from here there are many uh, faculty labs here also so this is the this is the room of manikandan sir manikandan narayan sir so he works in the ai department of iit madras and this is the room of prashant ele sir so he is also a professor of artificial intelligence in our department and this is the room of krishnamurthy sivalingam sir he is one of the biggest professor in systems so he was also our ex hod before nandivara sir became our hod so so this is what is in the second floor so from now Pritam will take you take you on the guide of or tour of the third floor, which is the AI for Bharat. Okay, now this long corridor, we will see few of the other rooms here, and uh, like this is one of the most famous corridor you can say in terms of the faculties that have offices here. We call it the ML corridor. <laughs> <laughs> let's see why is it is so so we the first chair is nitesh kapra sir's room you probably have heard his name he is very famous in the ml domain then we have arun rajkumar sir's room he is also in working in the ml domain only then we have harish guru prasad sir's room he is working in deep learning domain theoretical deep learning and now the main attraction that shubhadi was talking about let's see so this is the malta lab machine learning theory laboratory this is manikandan sir's lab and two other faculties malta lab and then we have reinforcement learning and stochastic optimization lab 
this is also like associated with this whole AI part and these two rooms that you are seeing here this SSD 435 and this is SSD 434 these are parts of the so-called AI for Bharat lab the main lab is that side in the other side of the door this is an extension of that lab and why is AI for Bharat so talked about because of the research work that is going on here amazing work is going on in ALP and uh, DL domain so yes So yes, now this is the faculty lounge, like the students are not allowed here. This is just for faculties and you can see, okay, this is the faculty lounge. You can see there, uh, and uh, then we come to finally the main lab of AI for Bharat. So this is the main lab. And this is also a sense lab, sensing and network systems engineering. So yes, that is all about it. We kind of conclude our department tour here. You get amazing facilities once you come here. The labs that you have seen, we have very efficient labs in all the domains. Be it theory, be it systems, be it ML, amazing faculties, amazing placements. Most of you are concerned about it. We have had a discussion about it uh, in the question session. So, hope to see you guys in numbers, in lots of numbers in the coming years. That's it. Hope to see you soon. Thanks. So, that is what was present in our IT modules. Just final, some bits is left. So this is one of the main competition where we said laboratory. This is also a very famous laboratory of IT Mathras. And one of the main attractions of IT Mathras which we missed was the blockchain, the blockchain laboratory. Like we showed you John's, uh, Shweta ma'am and Ashwarya ma'am's uh, cabins. But this is where this thing works. So this is the cryptographic and sample security and distributed trust laboratory. And this is where the, all the research on blockchain is done. If you have interest in blockchain, you can explore it. And so this is it. This is our beautiful campus. And this is our department of IIT Madras. And if you see on the right, on your right, my left. So that is the CSB block. So that that is so you can see it. It is of two floors, and we are currently now in the SSB block. Uh, if you come here, then I can show you. So this is the SSB block, and on my left is the electrical engineering department. So electrical and computer science department always go hands in hands. Uh, like if you come to electrical engineering department, you can also come to the CAC department and do all your courses on machine learning and stuff. And, and there is one more department which is under construction, which is the data science department. If you can see it, I don't know whether the camera will do justice to the data science department or not. But that is the data science department which is under construction and it will be started by this year's June. June or July or August, maybe by that, by the time you will, you guys will come. So, we end it here. So, thanks for watching and all. Do like, comment and subscribe. And we will meet you guys in the next one.